Hello everyone, I'm Sean and today I'll be showing you how to insert nav map page on Garmin GNS430. So what is nav map page? And on the fourth chapter of GNS430, nav map is the second page of nav group chapter. Right now on the screen, the airplane shows my current position. It shows few other details on the screen. On the left corner of it, it shows uh, the map scale. On the right side of the screen, it shows the data fields. By using the range here, which is on the top right of the panel, I can change the map scale. I can zoom in or zoom out. Usually on GNS430, it's from 500 feet to 2,000 nautical miles. So, as you can see, the details on the map screen, map page, the map page combines our moving map display and navigation data for computer situational awareness. Map setup pages are provided to designate the maximum scale at which each map feature will appear. The setting provides an automatic decluttering of the map. While viewing the map page, you can quickly declutter and remove many of the background map details by pressing the sealer key. So let's press the sealer key, which is right over here. Once pressing, it takes a few information from the screen, and that is the declaration level minus one. If I press it again, it will take more information away. Which is level 2 if I press it again which is level 3. Let me go back to my previous references which is uh, declaration level minus 1 and on the screen like we can customize our own map screen page. A map page option is provided and uh, additional settings to customize the map page and additional feature is specifically related to the map page up there. Let's press the menu page while we are on the map page and if another screen shows few options. These are the map page options. Uh, set up map, measure distance, data fields up, change fields, extra tables up there. If you press the set up map, it gives us another few options which are the orientation of the map at the moment, auto zoom on or off, land data on or off, ambient data is on or off. Let me go back. press the menu option again let's say the next one is that I would like to change my data fields on my screen in order to do that let's select change fields press enter and the waypoint in this case the first data is blinking if I want to change it let's say change press the small right now and it gives me 12 different options 12 different data fields uh, I would like to see VSR in, in, in case of uh, waypoint, if I want to do so, let's press BSR, press enter, and uh, BSR will be there instead of waypoint. Now, I don't, I don't want to see the data on my screen, and I would like to take it off. In order to do so, let's press menu, and data fields off, select that one, and the data piece will be away from the screen, and the screen is pretty much bigger right now. In case of a dead reckoning, a no GPS uh, position will be displayed and uh, the dead, all the data fields will be dashed out. To select a direct to destination from the map page, press uh, the right knob. In, in that case, pressing that one, it will bring up panning pointers on the screen. Let's move it around, maybe. Let's go down. Placing the pointer on the nearest destination or airport, it highlights the, it highlights the nearest airport on the waypoint. In this case, this is KVR. If I want to create my waypoint, press the direct and press enter and enter. It will activate the direct to destination. In this case, the magenta line shows my destination. If I would like to cancel this on the web page, press direct and press menu. It will give the option to cancel direct to nav. Press enter, it will cancel it. Now, in order that if there is no nav waypoint or there is no nearest airport or option, I would like to use a waypoint on the map. How to do that? 
let's uh, move around the cursor and uh, let's say I would like to create a weapon right here press uh, direct 2 and this option will appear as plus map as you can see on the pointer on the screen and it gives it 257 degrees it is making sure that it also shows the GPS position if I would like to activate it I can by pressing enter enter it gives me a direct way point to the plus map you can also review aerospace from the map page in order to do so let's activate the panning function go to the nearest aerospace and the aerospace is highlighted press enter and it pops the screen pops out which says uh, review airspace or create user point select review airspace and you can see that this uh, it says Burbank airport Burbank controlling agency Burbank airport uh, it also says students no atoms right at the moment particle limits 4800 MSL to surface the frequencies if I would like to see the frequencies for the airport select the frequencies and press enter and it gives the frequencies for ATS, pre-taxi, clearance, ground, all that stuff let me go back and uh, let's say I don't want I want to go back to my main default so select the menu Go to restore defaults, press restore defaults, it will take back to everything it was before. Now, well, that will be all for today. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Please tune in for the next clip upcoming soon. This is Sean signing off. Take care.